Hey, hi, hello everyone. I'm Lainey with Design by Lainey. I teach thousands of creatives how to have success in their business on their own terms and buck the starving artist trend. So today we're gonna talk about Instagram, which is one of my favorite things to chat about because I've had such success on Instagram. My community on Instagram has built over 65% of my income in the last year and it's constantly growing every day. So I absolutely love Instagram. I think it's a great place to market as a creative entrepreneur, especially if you already have beautiful products that you're creating, like a lot of you do. So today I'm gonna teach you five new ways to think of interesting creative hashtags that will get you those clicks and new follows every time. Um, We also have a five day Instagram challenge that you can find in the description below. It's gonna come with 70 free Instagram captions as well as five whole days of useful information that you can do to up your Instagram presence. And as always, before we get started, please give me a like and a subscribe so you don't miss out on future tutorials and conversations. And if you leave a comment with a type of service or product that you sell, we can come up with some hashtags to help you out. All right, so people are always asking me how to come up with good hashtags. And I think there's a lot of different things you can do. So I'm gonna teach you one really simple way that you can look at a photo and ask yourself a couple questions and come up with awesome new and interesting hashtags. So think with me back to fourth grade, at least in North Carolina where I lived, you had to write this fourth grade standardized essay. And one of the things they taught you was the five W's for being descriptive. So it's who, what, when, where, why, and sometimes how, which we'll touch on. So you got five W's and these are all perfect questions to ask yourself when you're thinking about hashtags. So I'm gonna use two examples as we go through this, but you can adapt these strategies to any product or service that's pictured in your photo. All right, the two examples I'm gonna use are wedding invitations, which is what I create, and also greeting cards. But I hope that you can adapt these. Comment below if you're having trouble adapting these questions to your product or service, and I'm happy to help you out. So let's get started. So we've got first, who? So when you're thinking about this, who is going to use your product? When thinking about wedding invitations, a great example of this would be boho bride or luxury bride. When you're thinking about greeting cards, some hashtags you could use would be like moms of Instagram or best friend or dog lovers if maybe your greeting card has a little dog pun on it. And those are really gonna resonate with your ideal client. So when you're thinking who, think who is going to use my product. The second one is the only one that's really focused on what's in the picture, which is, that's the question, what is in the picture? So if it's wedding invitations and it's greeting cards, you wanna use some of those more general hashtags to get a lot of eyes onto your product. But you also wanna use some of those smaller hashtags in like the 10 to 50,000 range. That's kind of your sweet spot if you're just starting out and have a smaller account. That are definitely gonna get you the click. So if someone's looking at wedding invitations, they may not want your type of wedding invitations, but there's gonna be a lot more eyes. On the other hand, you have these smaller hashtags like gold foil wedding invitation or Mother's Day greeting card that are going to be full of people who are looking for exactly what your photo is offering. So kind of do a variation there when you're talking about what's in the photo from some of those general ones and a couple more specific ones. The third one is when. So when are people gonna use your product? For wedding invitations, this is something like spring wedding, fall wedding, 2021 brides. That's a hashtag that I use a lot and find a lot of good results from. If you're thinking about the greeting cards, maybe it's a specific holiday, maybe it's an occasion, um, Mother's Day, July 4th, um, summer vacation, any of those kind of things that someone might need a greeting card for. The fourth question is where. This can be where will someone use your product? So you could think of like outdoor reception, garden wedding, those are great hashtags. Another way to think about this is physically where in the world, like geographically. So I use Um, North Carolina wedding, Colorado wedding. Um, I take markets that I'm interested in expanding into and use those hashtags. If you're local and you have a store that sells your greeting cards, um, definitely use, you know, San Antonio greeting cards, San Antonio stores, shop local San Antonio. Those types of hashtags are gonna resonate well with your audience. So the fifth and final W is why. And this is important to think about why someone might be interested in purchasing your product or working with you specifically. So this could be something with wedding invitations like customized wedding invitations, personalized monogram, those types of things that people are specifically looking for in their invitations. You can also think about like the purpose of the product. So with your Mother's Day card, you know, maybe it also fits in with gifts for mom, house ring parties, um, birthday presents for moms, things like that. And those are all really great reasons that someone might use your product and really great hashtags you could use. 
And we, of course, mentioned we touched on how. So you can talk about how someone might use your product, especially if you sell a tool or um, a supply that they can use to create something else, then how is gonna be really great. Like pointed pen calligraphy, if you sell uh, calligraphy nib holders, for instance. If you're doing greeting cards and things, the how kind of meshes back into the who, what, when, where, and why as well. Um, but if that helps for you, if you're selling something that people can use to create something else, then how is gonna be really powerful as well. So just as a reminder, those five and a half questions are who is using your product, what is in the photo, when are they using it, where are they using it, why are they using it, and sometimes how are they using it. So these are really great ways that you can come up with short, quick, easy phrases that can be successful as hashtags. So we'll talk a little bit more about Instagram in a couple of our other videos, but make sure you join our five day free Instagram challenge that comes with 70 free Instagram captions, as well as five days of content on how to up your Instagram game and make more money on Instagram.